In the news today, in today's news, in today's news, of course, in a dungeon. Almost where? <sighs> what the? <laughs> the hell? Hello? Yes? I'm here for the anchor audition? Oh, right. Turn around, go back, go straight, go right, go left, go straight, go right, go up, go down, go left. Oh, wait, say that again? What? <sighs> Suck. Hey, wait, come back, you... <sighs> no, fuck you! <laughs> like, I even care anymore. Nozonka? Uh, yeah, it's... Why? Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. I've mostly worked in the Midwest. You look very familiar to me, too. But that's a good thing, right, kids? People will feel comfortable with you, like they know you. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, um, you want me to get started? Wait, wait, I found it. That's it from down here in Miami at the Miss Bootylicious Contest. Rich, there's a whole lot of butt going on. Wow, John, tough ass assignment. <laughs> Seems like you've got your hands full. Maybe you'd like me to come on down there and help you eat some butt. <laughs> What'd you say? You can't say that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't go. We'll be good. Look, if you get the job, it'll be purely on your talent. Right, kids? Please. Whenever you're ready. I'm sorry, there's a doctor's office upstairs. It gets kind of busy. Let's just uh, try again. This just in. On a small farm in Iowa, three young boys have fallen into a well. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a pediatrician's office. He's probably just giving the baby a shot. All right, I'll try this again. This just in. On a small farm in Iowa, three young boys. Don't stop, just keep going. This just in. On a small farm in Iowa, three young boys have fallen into a well. <laughs> fell into a well, which then partially collapsed. The boys' cries for help could be heard by rescue workers who. Rescue workers are attempting to drill a second well alongside the first well in an attempt to pull the boys to safety. Authorities are confident they will get the boys back and well. This is Rich Dillwater signing off. Eat butt, America. And now it's the evening report with Rich Dillwater and Anna. Good evening, and welcome to the premiere broadcast of Home Cook News. I'm Rich Dillwater. And I'm Anna Nedzametvagudne. Welcome to the evening report. 
Clashes in Gaza broke out again after a young Israeli soldier was kidnapped while out on patrol. The Palestinian Authority has denied any involvement and has even suggested that the kidnapping was an Israeli stunt. This just in. The Secretary of State's airplane has crashed in Turkey. Among the dead are 40 top officials from the State Department and 20 members of the press corps. Witnesses claim to have seen a streak of light flying up to the plane before it exploded in midair with wreckage and body parts falling to the ground. The U.S. military is on high alert and troops have been deployed to the region. And on the lighter side of the news, Abraham Lincoln, does he need a bath? Well, that's what one seven-year-old from Wichita thinks. After visiting the Lincoln Memorial with her second grade class, young Katie McGill noticed how dirty the statue looked. So, Katie got her whole class to come and wash the statue of our beloved 16th president. And even though the second graders weren't tall enough to reach the higher parts of the statue, they certainly were able to clean all the nooks and crannies below. Well, that's it for the evening report. Log in to homecookednews.com for updates to our top stories. I'm Rich Dillwater. And I'm Anna Netzamet for Gudne. Eat bananas, America. Richie, baby, my little bambino. Come, give me a kiss. Stop it. You cannot be here. You can't work here. Oh, come on. Sit on my lap for all time's sake. Come on. What? You'll come around, and when you do, Brent will be here. Brent? Who's Brent? I am Brent Carmichael. It's my new name. I'm putting Bootylicious behind us for good. You and I can start fresh. There is no you and I. There never was. You forgetting about Mexico? Shh. That was one tequila-soaked night just after we got fired. It doesn't count. I'll deny it ever happened. Oh, it happened. And it was beautiful. John, come on. Brent. Brent, please, just... Ma, tell me, just tell me. You can tell me anything. Come on. Look, I'm sorry to do this, but... What? Officer! Huh? huh? Oh, Richie, come on. It wasn't necessary. You brought this on yourself. I'm a good boy. John Lockwood? Maybe. You're in violation of a restraining order to stay more than 1,000 feet away from Rich Dickwater. Who? D Dick Tickler. What? Nip Tickler. Limp Pickle. Dill Pickle. Limp Dick. Dick Nipple. Rich Dick. 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 That's a lot of dicks. Rich Dill Water. Yeah, him. You can come voluntarily or I can arrest you. Okay. Come on. I'm coming. Against my will. <laughs> Get off me, you freak! Come on! Yeah. Nurse Brandy? Uh, official business! What's Brent doing with Nurse Brandy? Oh, she's a friend of mine. She's the one who told me you guys were hiring. Really? Well, then what was all that about? Look, I didn't want to call the real cops, so she's helping me enforce a restraining order I have against John. Uh, Brent. Restraining order? Yeah, that's right. He also got fired when I did my Bootylicious broadcast. He's been stalking me ever since. That's crazy. Is he dangerous? Do I have to watch my ass? Just don't drink tequila with him. What? Uh, forget it. Well, this is great. I gotta find a new game show host now. Game show host? That's right, Rich. We're not just the news anymore. Game show host? <laughs> I could do that. Better than Chuck Woolery. <laughs> Welcome back to... Truth or Shock! All right, if you're just joining us, let me recap. We're here with our beautiful twin contestants, Ruby and Penny, and their boyfriends, Dave and Leslie. Each girl has questions in front of them that were written by our studio audience. The boys, well, they're hooked up to a lie detector. They tell the truth, their team gets a point, and they move on to the next question. The boyfriends lie, well then the girlfriends have a choice. They can either stop with their current point total, or they can shock them for a point and move on to the next question. Now, is everybody ready? Huh? Shock collars in place. Hands shackled. All right, let's play. Truth or Shock! Okay, Ruby, before we cut to commercial, you had three points and you're shooting for more. Mm -hmm. 
He hasn't told a single lie yet, so you haven't had to give him even the slightest shock. Well, that's because we have no secrets from each other, Rich. <laughs> All right, ready to get started? Ready, Rich. Woo! How about you, Dave? I'm not so sure anymore, Rich. <laughs> All right, well then let's go ahead and play. Question number four. If we were on a lifeboat together and there was only one seat left, would you give it to me? Of course I would. Hey. <laughs> If we get married and I come down with a horrible disease, will you stay and change my diapers or will you abandon me? Of course I'll stay and change your poopy diaper. <laughs> okay, five points, keep going. If I was pregnant and gained a lot of weight, would you be honest and tell me I looked fat? Oh, I, uh, would. Be honest and tell you that you looked fat. Okay, okay, what I meant was I would be honest and tell you that you looked beautiful. Aww. Aww. They're adorable, aren't they, folks? Aww. But, unfortunately, your first response was technically a lie. Oh. So, Ruby? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna quit with the five points? Or are you gonna shock him for point number six and go on? Shock him, shock him. Shock him, shock him. No, I can't do it. We're gonna stop, Rich. Okay, you're gonna quit with your five points. It's not too bad, right, everyone? All right, five points, that is quite the challenge, Penny. Think you're up for it? Oh, we can do it and we will. We'll do whatever it takes. Any second thoughts? Uh, I, uh, yeah, no. Okay, Penny, go ahead and read the first question from that stack in front of you. Would you rather spend a quiet night alone with me or hang out with your buddies? Spend the night with you? <laughs> oh, that's a lie. Penny, what are you gonna... <laughs> Okay, woman in control, carry on. When my parents come to town, do you want them to stay with us or in a hotel? Hotel? A hotel? You'd want my parents to stay in a hotel? Wrong answer. <laughs> meal or go out to a restaurant? The home cooked meal. <laughs> if I was in a horrible accident and my face was completely disfigured, would you still love me for the person I am inside? Question for you. Do you think my sister's prettier than me? Ooh. That question isn't even on the card. Answer the question! Yeah, I find you more beautiful than your sister. Oh, oh shit. Sex with my sister? No. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, watch what you're doing. It's not the one who wants to have sex with his girlfriend's sister. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> See you next week. Hello, 
and welcome to Home Cook Shopping. I'm Rich Dillwater with my beautiful co-host Anna Nefertiti. Anna Ned so much for good. That's correct. And do you know what makes Home Cook Shopping so special, Anna? No, Rich, please tell me. Well, we are the only shopping show that specializes in factory seconds. Seconds? Oh, you mean rejects. No, 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 not rejects. These are beautiful, handcrafted products with minor imperfections. If you say so. I do. And you know what minor imperfections means? Big savings for you. So, you ready? I can't wait. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's see, our first item is a set of custom imprinted welcome mats from the Susquehanna Mat Company. Welcome mats? That's right, Anna. They just arrived, so we haven't even seen them yet. Uh, according to my notes, they come in a set of three, one for the front, back, and side door of any home. Well, what if you live in an apartment? Well, then you can choose your favorite. Or you can rotate every now and then. They're your mats. You can do whatever you want with them. Do you want to see them? With bated breath. Please, do the honors. Sure. As I was saying, each mat has its own custom inscription, and it looks like, oh, yep, the first one was originally intended for the Virginia Department of Tourism. Do you know what the motto of Virginia is, Anna? I have no idea. Virginia is for lovers. <laughs> Shirts Virginia, Rich? Yeah. And I know why this is a second. Well, hold on, Anna. Uh, I mean, it does speak the truth. And uh, just look at this quality. Look at this durability. I mean, <laughs> this vagina will last you a lifetime. Should I leave you two alone? No. Okay, moving on. Okay, uh, oh, the next inscription is simple enough. Mi casa es su casa. Well, that one I have heard, Rich. Mi asa es su asa. Actually, I haven't heard that one. <laughs> this is a joke, right? You guys are pulling a prank on me? Uh, is this some kind of hidden camera show? No, Rich, this is real. Hmm. Hidden camera show? I like it. Keep going, you're doing great. Well, there you have it, folks. Two mats for the price of one at homecookshopping.com. Don't worry, Rich, we still have one more. Great. Thanks, Anna. Okay, but I don't see the inscription for this one. It just says that this mat is perfect for a side door on muddy days. Of course. Well, it's official. I'm in hell. Actually, Rich, I don't seem to find anything wrong with this one. It doesn't seem like a reject to me. That's because we're the rejects, Anna. Don't you get that? Speak for yourself. I'm getting a talk show out of this. Talk show? Talk show? Ugh! So, get three mats for the price of one at homecookedshopping.com. I am Anna Ned Samutvagudne, and on behalf of Rich over here, me asa es su asa. Good night.